Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through some patterns that I've picked up that I found really useful. These are sort of things you just want to sit down and really practice until they're instinctive so that you can do them without thinking. So the first one is just how to extend a simple path. So you can see here, I've made a short path to the grommet. And what I want to do is I want to make this a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap a few pieces out. And there you go, I've just added two extra pieces in. And that is the first pattern, is just extending a path. Okay. The second one is extending a sort of parallel line or a loop using two straight pieces or two three connect pieces. So I'm going to go back over this because that went through a bit fast. So I'll do that again. I've got two straight pieces here. I've got a sort of a parallel line that curves back on itself. I'm arranging the straight pieces next to this path. And I'm just dragging them along. Whoops, that didn't quite go to plan. Let's put that back again. So one, two, one, two. If I had any more, I could do it again. Uh, another pattern you may want to learn to do is just sort of rearrange these bit is how to create a little twirly path this comes in handy quite a lot as you see there wasn't a lot of thinking involved there I just practiced making this twirly path okay so I'm just going to speed ahead for a moment Okay, so I've got my three connector pieces now. This is what I was looking for. So I'm going to make a quick, simple path towards the end. Okay. Now, what you'll normally quite often find is you'll get in a position like this and think, you know, crap, I've not got any way of extending my line. So let's, you know, go sort of move things around so what you might try and do is uh, put that in there, extend the line around there you go, I've extended my path what you can also do if I put this back to how it was is use these three connector pieces to extend the path, so there we go I'm just spawned into the path I can go ahead and extend this one out and it's quite safe as well because you're only working along one line at a time. You're much less likely to booch. So I can see here, right, let's chuck that three piece in. Uh, let's say I want to spawn another path for whatever reason. There you go, I've used another three piece. Spawn path. And there you go. reason and so again just replacing these pieces swapping them in and out for other ones to stop them being a problem yeah that's a pattern so just set up a few examples for yourselves and practice it now, another practical example is having these three connectors going up almost like a ladder going up the page and then closing them off with say, a corner piece over there and then have, chucking a couple of grommets at the end this is something that once you get going you use quite a lot so you really just want to practice it another one that I love is using these three connector pieces like so to include some extra grommets in there there you go, how brilliant was that? you can also do the same if you've got the pieces with four connections on them
There you go. When you've got a blocked piece in the corner, you just get used to putting a grommet in there. This is another pattern, right? I know that I have to put a grommet in this corner because, well, there's nothing that can go anywhere else. I've not figured that out by thinking about it. I figured that out by practicing it and, you know, just remembering it, applying the sort of idea of it being a normal pattern. No, here's another few patterns. Um, there we go. There we go, there's a masterpiece. No thinking, just applying patterns, swapping things in and out. That's how you've got to do it. It's all about patterns and using sort of fast thinking and your heuristics that you come up with through practicing. So here, I know that it's got pieces around it, so I can either replace that with a straight one or put a corner piece in there. Whatever I want to use, I just come up with some sort of guess. There we go. Um, yeah, let's have a look. What can we do here? I don't know. You know, that was the wrong pattern to use, but yeah, you can learn that. And that's what you do. There's just a few patterns that you can learn, go away and practice. You know, there's lots more. You know, there's quite a lot of patterns that you want to instinctively learn, but that's just a few to get you started.